read chapter 10 and I don't really feel like reading it out loud again, but for those of you that don't want to read it, I'll still give you my commentary on it and like an overview of the important things that have happened. So basically there's this thing called the Alima Festival and it's for when girls get their first period. Man, I feel like a woman. And my first thought about this is, why don't I get to have one? Like, I want one to celebrate my period. It's so bad to have one, so why can't I have one? <laughs> and then it's just like, but no, in our culture, if I say period in front of a man, it's like, stop the presses. It's all awkward now and just can't be talked about, but like, I, I want an Alima Festival. Like, I think it'd be pretty awesome to party with girls for like a couple months because I got my period. But no. I think the pygmies have something going. And then like, during the Alima Festival, the girls sing and dance every night, and then basically like there's just one giant flirting session with the boys. It's just flirtation. And like, it's how they decide how they want their mate and stuff. And so it's kind of interesting in that aspect because the, the girls, like, if they hit the boy with this like whip thing, um, like, it means that they like them and they want them to come into the hut and to like come into the hut to challenge. And so they have to like, they have to get past the moms and if they get past the moms, it means their mo the mom is okay with like them marrying their daughter. And then like they can like sleep or flirt with the girl, but like the girl has to be okay with it. So like, and he, like if it, one girl whips him, but he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to like do anything with her. Like he can come in and see another girl, but you still like, you need to be like whipped. It's not like a real whipping. It's like, ha, huh, I like you. It's like a playful slap. It's a flirtation. It's like getting into like a fight is like flirting. And then like one night, like a few, like I, I, from my impression, it was one night that this happened, but it could have been like multiple nights. Like they, they moved to a different area, like just young men and women, like with a few adults to supervise. And they just like get into a giant fight and flirt with one another. And it sounded like kind of interesting, but besides that, like, it was weird. And then at the end of the Yalima Festival, they have like a giant ceremony kind of thing. Um where in the village. The there from my understanding they seem to be they were in the village for the most part, like the entire camp like went like went to the village to celebrate this girl getting her period. Which again is something I want to have happen because like it sucks getting a period. So like to celebrate it would be pretty awesome. And like the village is like, oh my god, you're bleeding blood. Oh my god, it's death. And like the pygmies are like that too. But they like re like they see the menstrual cycle as a sign of life, which is kind of like ironic because the menstrual cycle means you're not pregnant and like not being pregnant's death. Well, anyway, they see it as life instead of death, which I think is a good thing that they've got going. But anyway, in the village, like so, the village they have like this like last like dance and stuff, and. Like, this girl with, like, huge boobs was really into sticking them into this, like, pot. And the pot made a sound that sounded like the molimo. And, like, that freaked out all the, like, the adult women. And, like, they yelled at her. And then she was, like, the girl that was, like, sticking her boobs into the pot was, like, I'll stop that now. But it was, like, this giant dance. And, like, all the girls flirted with the guys they liked. And, um... It was really interesting and I was like, I want one of these and I still want one even though I think it'd be kind of creepy for the entire village to know that I got my period, but I guess now everybody knows that I got my period because I just screamed that. So hope you enjoyed the summary and my commentary of chapter 10, um, which I think is called Alima, the Dance of Life and it starts on 184 in case you're interested in reading it. So yeah.